The search for a superstar is on in Bavaria's capital city, Munich. So, good morning. Albert Dietrich from the tourism office auditions street performers for Munich's pedestrian zone. If he's not impressed, then it's a no-go. Do we want to play indoors or out? Do you really want me to play outside in the rain? No, no, let's do it here. Okay. <laughs> Olga from Russia must give it her best shot now or she's out of the running. The mayor said performers in the pedestrian zone should be of a certain level and the musical quality should be in keeping with the kind of shops doing business here. He's checked out hundreds of acts, assessing their talent and their appearance, but only ten of them are allowed to perform daily. The casting agent may be no musician himself, but he knows a good performer when he meets one. <coughs> Olga passes today's audition with flying colors. So, that went really well. There was the odd rough bit, but that's nothing serious. What's important though, and this is something we've had problems with, you have to change your location every hour. Then you're all set. Okay, we'll stay here. We'll do this casting outside now. Ango tries his luck with a Bulgarian folk tune. He's been practicing hard. But only those with a varied repertoire make it onto Munich's high street. Can you play something else? Another song? Can you play a different song? He gets the green light too. The casting's over for today. Now it's time to do the rounds. The permit police are on patrol to see if there is anyone here who doesn't belong. Drums, alpine horns and brass bands are banned, but that's just one of a whole host of rules and regulations. If someone plays for longer than an hour, for example, or he's playing the wrong instrument, or he doesn't even have a permit, well, he's liable to pay a fine. That would be a fine to the tune of up to 1,000 euros. Luckily for him, this performer is playing beyond the limits of the musical exclusion zone. The casting agent's beat ends at the old town hall arcades. I think anyone should be allowed to give it a shot because he's doing it for himself. And if someone wants to give a musician something, they should be allowed to. It's just like a small businessman. When I walk by, I just say, let him get on with it, even if he's not as good as I am. Let him do his thing. If someone is really awful, then he should just stay home or at least play somewhere where it's not going to bother anyone. We're not here for the street musicians. After all, we're here for the tourists and the citizens of Munich. A city can quickly lose its reputation if it doesn't keep things in check. For violinist Olga, the selection policy has paid off. Someone has to make the decision because being a street musician is also a job, a profession even. And in any job there are certain criteria by which people are selected or rejected. And in Munich, those criteria are not so easy to fulfill. The rigorous casting process means that a visit to Munich's shopping precinct is always a pleasantly harmonious experience.